Hey everyone, it's Tanya. I have finally finished the folio that we worked on and I will link the video, um, I think the playlist up here somewhere so you guys can kind of um, see what we did. So um, yeah, so it took me a while to finish. <laughs> um, what I did is I ended up um, changing the spine. So this was the original spine and it was a three inch spine and as you can see it was a little bit too small so what I did is I deconstructed the book and I made a four inch spine. Um, it has a lot of little scrappy things on it. I love how it looks. Um, and this is the back, right? Y'all, this thing is massive, right? Look how big that is. It's like the, the width of my hand. This is so big. So this is what the other side looks like, right? I left this part plain because I love the fabric. Um, okay, so when you open it up, it opens up like this. Y'all, wouldn't this be the perfect like display in your craft room or something like that? And that's so cool. I love it. Okay, here we go, y'all. Um, so this right here is just magnetic, right? And it's just a little flap. Right, and it has um, vellum, um, coffee dyed, and we have some stuff pinned on, and some stuff in the inside, right? And then, then we have the folios, okay? And so, um, now you know you can take these out, of course, you can always take them out because the binding is just a knot. So I decided not to put anything on here because if she wanted to take them out, I didn't want it to be too hard for her to unwind the buttons, unwind the trinkets and stuff like that, and then take this out. So I just left it blank. Um, then she can she can decorate it however she wants. So um, it opens up like this, y'all. So the folios do actually open up in the book. So you can keep them in the book. You don't have to necessarily um, take them out to look through them. So this is this part, right? Like this. And then we open it up like this, right? And we have this beautiful um, display right here. We have pockets. And this right here, y'all, it's been a while since I did, did this. This opens up, right? Guys, let me show you. It's kind of big. Okay, this is a pocket right here. Pocket, pocket. Then it flips over <laughs> like this. And you have pocket, pocket. And this is actually a little journal, right? Um, I love doing that. I love putting journals in the back of flaps. You know, I think that's cool. Okay, and then so... Just paper clip that back up there like that. And then we have this side, same pocket, right? And then when you flip that over, you have this pretty um, ensemble. These are little tucks right here. Both of these are, right? Flips over, you have a tuck right here. Then you have a real pretty pocket right there. Then you have a pocket right here. And this is an envelope, but um, lovely wax seal, right? And then down here, um, at this part, I didn't show you guys that. You have file folder um, right here. This is just like a little booklet, you know, that she can put pictures in like that. And then this one, uh, it comes off as well, right? And it opens up, and it is a flip down file folder that you could just put something in there like this, right? So this goes like that, and we're going to put that back there like this. And then we're going to put this on there like that, okay? And then you have a pocket down here. And that is that folio, right? So um, close this up. Okay. All right. And then we're going to tie it back. Oh, I didn't show you guys this part. We have an envelope right here. Um, and it actually opens. So you can put something in there. So you tie that one back up, like so, right? Okay, then you flip this one over, and then you have a pocket on the back, right? So then we go to this one, right? And this one, you have just stuff, pockets, pockets, and then you have stuff um, clipped in and everything like that. I won't take everything out. But um, this is Tim Holtz. It's beautiful, right? Um, I used the Tim Holtz die for this, right? So I love this. Oh, and this is um, his um, photo booth. Yeah, 
that's what it is. Okay, so on this side, we got stuff falling out. Okay, on this side, we have um, file folders as well, and I just stacked them up. And then we have some um, cute bits in here, right? Just stuff, you know? And then on this side, I didn't put anything over here, which I probably should have, but I just probably forgot. Or I was probably too stuffed. I don't know which one. But here's a pocket, and then here's a pocket up here. Then we have a pocket right here, right? And then we have this. This is actually an envelope, so it actually um, is a faux envelope. It actually opens up so you can write in it, right? And then we have um, these cute um, uh, cards right here, and these are actually vintage, right? So they're like mini postcards, right? And then here's a pocket right here. And when we lift it up, we have um, a pocket and we have a pocket. Pocket right here, right? And then when we go down, we have a pocket and a pocket. And of course, another pocket. And then you have, y'all, yeah, then you have this pocket right here, right? So you have something right here and right here. Then you have this big envelope um, pocket. And then you have things um, behind it. So this is a pocket behind there too. Okay. So that is that. Let's put this back in here. And close it like that. And it just closed with the bulldog clip. Like that. And then on the back you have... What is, what is this? What is this from y'all? Oh. That's where it's from. I knew that, I knew that. Okay, anyway, so um, envelope. Um, then we have some pockets right here. And then we have a pocket right here. This envelope is from Genevieve Designs template. I believe it is the Simply Magical um, template, okay? And so this is the one that we worked together um, on. Um, and I will definitely link that um, again so you guys can check it out. So we have tucks right here. This is a tuck um pocket. This right here, these are vintage Crayola box tops that I just made into little hangy tags. I thought that was cute. So we have a tag here and tag here. And then you flip it over like this. Y'all, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't looked at this in a while. So um, I kind of forgot what I did. So we have, um, this is Tim Holtz. Um, so we just have a pocket right here. This flips over. Hold on like this and you have um, a cool pocket this is actually an envelope it opens up right and then you have another pocket right here this opens and then you flip it over you have another um, envelope and then you have another pocket with some things right here then you have uh, a, um, a pocket Ugh, Tanya say it say it okay and then you have another pocket 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 and then you have this beautiful side pocket right there right that you can put some in there and I love how it looks I love how everything just I just love how it turned out y'all I think it turned out really nice um but you know that's just me maybe I'm being a little biased I don't know probably but I just love how it looks it looks so good right so on this side we have of course we have the um I used the Tim Holtz file folder die and um, I made um a couple of file folders and they're just pockets that you can put stuff in and then here's a pocket right here that has something in there and then when you flip this over then you have this is um, an envelope die no no I made this with the um, envelope punch board I have the envelope die coming so that's why I said that but no I made this with the envelope punch board this is Tim Holtz blackout paper um, I just sanded it down um, I love the way it looks I love that I just the whole rustic look I love it okay so and then we have this this right here um, is just a little tuck spot then we have a vintage milk top right there um, some things paper clip flips over like that and then you have um, another tuck spot this flips out then I put um, a picture of the little girl right here she can take this picture out and put whatever picture she wants in there but I just think that um, sometimes uh, if you put stuff in place then somebody will know oh that's how I can use it if it's a blank page I can put a picture there you know just giving you guys ideas on how to use it um, this right here is a pocket and it flips over another blank spot so she can put she could put two pictures right there if she wanted to picture journaling whatever and then we have this cute pocket right here and then we have a pocket right here which I did not put anything in there okay so that all flips down like this this flips over then you have a pocket right here right and then you have some little pockets 
I love this. I love doing that. So you have a pocket right there, and then you have this pretty pocket. Um, and then um, this flips down. So we have a pocket right here, of course. This flips down. and Okay, this flips down. We have a pocket right here. Um, this is a template from Genevieve Designs. I think this is the glassing bag template envelope, I think. don't. I, I'm pretty sure that's it, okay? So then you flip this one, and you have a little um, photo slide, and you can see it has a landscape in there. I know you guys can't see that, but it has a landscape in there. It's really pretty. And then we have a pocket right here. Pocket, of course. And then is another... Um, envelope right here just with a different wax seal right and then right here we just have a big pocket two big pockets that you can put stuff in okay so that is that and that's how I did that and um, this goes like this right and then this goes like that and then when you flip it over you have a big gusseted pocket right there okay and that's that let me um, tie this back really quickly Okay. Okay. Perfect. Right? And then this is the journal. So I just used the bulldog clip. She told me that this was her favorite color. So I tried to incorporate her favorite color into the journal whenever I could. So it just clips onto the back like this and it's just very plain she can put a pocket she can put pictures i mean she doesn't have to put anything if she doesn't want to so let's move this out the way okay put that right there and then this is the journal right um this is how it looks and is a twine um binding i've been wanting to try this for a long time um i haven't you know I just have never done it so um, I think it looks really I think it turned out really nice so we have a little bit of layering here and then we have some vintage stuff just put up in there and then when you open it up it is just a nice vintage music book cover I didn't put anything there because I just I love that and that is all how it came I didn't want to touch it okay so anyway we have a envelope we have a little pocket right there, um, a little photo slide. I thought that was nice. And then this right here is a pocket, right? And so she has some vintage stuff tucked in there. I don't want to take everything out. And then we have some, uh, this is a vintage letter. Um, well, it's not a letter. It's like, um, um, it's a French document. And this is a vintage. It's from 1933. I mean, it's like, it looks like an invoice, right? So... I'll put that in there like that and then right here we have this um cute um just a whole bunch of just old stuff right there and i didn't cover it up i thought it was um cool just to keep it right there um but anyway vintage button and we have some more vintage things tucked in this um vintage um i think this was a music book cover that i just made into a pocket right and then we just have some stuff layered you know um cute right uh we have another little pocket with things tucked in there um this pretty page right here and this actually is um a envelope and it has an envelope on the back and this is a vintage envelope right here and you can take this out see and there you go right i love the pink i love Okay, guys, sorry, my memory card um, was full. Okay, so I believe I was saying that this is just um, some lace right here, a uh, vintage button, um, vintage ledger, appliques, and uh, this is a crochet doily that I just cut to make a pocket, right? Then we have some paper. This is a really big um, ledger page, and it opens up like this. And I thought that was cool. I didn't want to cut it down because I have never seen one exactly that big, right? This right here is a vintage um, piano roll. And I just folded it up to be a pocket, right? And then you have something on this side. And then this right here is another vintage ledger. And then we have some vintage things over here. Um, then we have just some um, coffee dyed um, vellum and vintage stuff vintage paper you know another vintage um this is a uh, that um i think they used to wrap letters in that but i think it's pretty cool right 
So I just put it right here like that. Then we have this, and this is almost the end. This is a vintage wallpaper that I um, received in a um, in a paper lot that I bought. So um, right here from Michelle um, Tape and Twine. Um, and I love it. It's so pretty and I love the texture. This is a little journal that I just made to go in the inside of it. I, I made this a while ago and I thought it would be perfect in here. It is made out of a glassine bag and you can put something in there. You just have a lot of different things in there, right? Um, but it's a mini journal that she can kind of put her thoughts in, um, things like that, right? And then this is the back, right? Um, these this paper right here, the butterfly, and this one right here is from uh, Paper Daisy Journals, I believe. Um, one of her papers. I don't know which one. I'm sorry, y'all. But that is what it looks like. And we'll tuck that back like that. And we'll tuck that back in this little pocket right there. And then when you flip it over, you just have this page right here. And it's a floating pocket. So you have pockets right here. And this is actually a vintage letter. And I put it in there because I thought it was cute. And then we have some appliques and some lace right there. And then this is the back. And we have an actual envelope right here with some lace and something vintage. Some vintage stuff right there. And there you go. And that's it, y'all. Um, that is a journal. And then we have a couple of laces and things on the on the side. Um, yeah. So, uh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the flip through. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. God bless. Bye.